Good morning. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Poquero con dulce de I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Good morning. That'll wake you up. Okay. So, I know if you were with me yesterday, if you came by yesterday, uh, we did spice blends and spice nuts. Uh, and I told you today we would be doing shortcut cookies and stuff, and we are. That's going to be the next video after this one. But, I got to thinking about it, and I got to hearing, listening to you guys, and realized that y'all wanted to know how to make dressing. Okay. And I promised you that before Thanksgiving when we had all those issues. So, tonight is our, or this afternoon, is our uh, church community Christmas dinner. We fix dinner for the community, and everybody's welcome to come and enjoy fellowship and, and a full Christmas dinner. So, they, uh, Frank is smoking three turkeys. Pecan wood smoke, that's the only way. This is Texas. And I'm making the dressing, the gravy, uh, cranberries, and an eggnog cake. So, alright? Sound good? Well, you're going to learn how to do all that. Well, not the turkey part. That's him. But, so first, we're going to make the, I'm going to make the dressing. Show y'all how to do it. In this pan right here, I have done three packages of uh, yellow cornbread mix and two packages of white. Now, you can do them all separate batches, but I do them all together. Uh, in the pan that I'm going to be cooking. This is my roaster pan because we're going to be cooking out of the roaster. And I got news for you. Y'all always, I know some of y'all are nosy. Y'all notice everything. Like you noticed that, that I, I redid the kitchen, painted the kitchen. You notice that I changed out all the knobs on the cabinets. It amazes me. It scares me actually because it's kind of like, ooh. But several people have asked me, what's behind me? You know, is this all there is or is there more behind me? So guess what? We're going to be working over there, over here and over there this afternoon when we, or the, in the next video when we do Christmas treats and goodies and shortcut cookies. Um, so right now, I'm just taking, I've cooked the cornbread. This is my pan for my roaster. And this is, because I'm cooking it in my roaster. If you don't have a roaster, you can do it in the oven. And so what I've done is just taken all the cornbread and just crumbled it up into crumbles. I do want some big chunks. I don't want it all just fine crumbly. Now, people go and buy those. It never fails to surprise me. These people that buy the cornbread dressing mix at the grocery store. You know what? A package of cornbread is 42 cents. 42 cents. Not even 50 cents. It's cheap. One egg and a third. And for dressing, you don't want soft cornbread and you don't want sweet cornbread. But I do one egg. And you know how it says a two-thirds of a cup of milk? Well, what I do is I do a third of a cup of milk and a third of a cup of chicken stock. But I don't have chicken stock. Well, guess what? Guess what? They sell it. You don't always have to make it. You can use this. All right. So, in here, so let's get going. In here, I've got a pot of water simmering, getting up to the bowl. And all that I've done to it is add poultry seasoning. That's going to be our stock that we're going to use for the gravy and for the dressing. It's going to be turkey stock. Can you see me now? Here's a turkey. See the turkey? Oh! It's an all-natural turkey. That's what we like. But any turkey will do. And what you want is you want the bag of goodies out of it. So we're going to throw those in there. Here's the neck. We're not going to use that, but the dog loves it. nasty. Remember, this is all raw poultry. Turkey is worse than chicken about salmonella, so you want to make sure you bleach everything down that any turkey blood touches. Alright, and I don't think that's going to be enough. I don't think that's going to be enough, so I'm going to get another turkey.
Y'all are late for breakfast. Sorry, I already made breakfast. Today was Bambi sausage and biscuits. Or, not biscuits, but uh, English muffins. And yes, I buy English muffins. I don't get them. make them from scratch. All right, give me this other butt. There we go. Remember, the bag's always in the butt. And a lot of people forget that there is a bag of stuff in the turkey. It's important that you remember that. All right. The more stuff you put in there, the more guts you get in there, the better your turkey flavor is going to be. And like I said, the dog loves the neck. So you really want to make sure you get the neck. The neck will be in the neck part. Oh, I can get it out of here. Come on. Really? What did you do in here? Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, so now we got this, the guts out of two turkeys. I'm going to turn that up to a good high medium. Good high medium. Because we want that to start boiling. Uh, always, always wash your hands good when you're dealing with turkey. It's a scary, scary thing. Alright, so we got that going. So now we're going to start putting this together. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this pan right here and get it warm and melt about a uh, half a quarter, about a quarter stick of butter. I've got one already cut up. I do. Okay, good. I'm going to have to cut that one up. We'll just use this, most of this one. about that much better and we're gonna brown our onions and celery now I messed up when I went to the grocery store and guess what Lynn forgot to buy that's right celery that's okay because I got celery seed up here somewhere, somewhere. I know my big heads in your face now live with it somewhere I got celery seed where is it no. No, 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 no. Oh, well, I'll find it. It's not crucial at this moment. Hold on. Hang on. Well, I guess it is kind of crucial because I can't... Oh, there it is right there. If it's a snake, it bit me. And then we'd have really heard something. Sorry about that. I know y'all got my big head right in your face. That's not what you want to see at 8 o'clock in the morning. So because I don't have... And I do have some celery already done. I already did one batch before I decided, hey, this would make a good video. So I'm just going to add another couple teaspoons of uh, celery seed. And then we're going to chop up some onion. I'm using a yellow onion. You could use a white onion. You could use a red onion. I would prefer you use yellow because it's a sweeter onion or a white onion. Because remember, if you go back to our onion video, you're wasting money using a red onion because you're not going to have that pretty color in it anyway, so it don't matter. Okay, so. Really? I'm having one of those days, people. And by the way, if you're one of my viewers from the Lockhart area, our dinner starts about 4.30 this afternoon. It's open to the public. It's free. It's on 142, just outside of Lockhart, heading toward Maxwell. And it's um, a little bitty church. Can't I mean, you've got to be looking for it. But it's right next to the, to the resale place, to that junk place. Which, by the way, they, if you stop in there once in a while, they got some really good stuff. I'm just doing a rough chop. I don't want to fine dice because, you know, you want the onions up. All right, so. There go the onions. Don't need a lot. Don't need a lot. And all we're doing now is we're going to clarify them out a little bit. And to that, I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic. Tiny, tiny little bit of garlic. 
not, not even a full teaspoon, but that much, about a half teaspoon. Remember, we're not trying to brown it, we're just trying to get them soft. So when they start turning a little bit soft, they'll be a little shiny, they'll be real shiny. Anything stick, make sure you get it up off the bottom. That's the good stuff. That'll take but a few minutes. And then we're done. And that just, you dump that right in there, on top of the cornbread. This is my granny's cornbread. And the funny thing is about this, Granny made the best dressing ever. She made the only dressing I liked ever. Well, one year, Granny was sick. She had uh, she got bladder cancer. The woman never smoked a day in her life, but she ended up oh, she ended up with bladder cancer, and um, they had to take remove her kidney and her bladder. Well, and part of her cap her bladder and remove part of her kidney. Well, so, now we're going to just move this forward. Ouch. Okay, going to just move that forward. Let's that one off. It's a bigger, bigger round. These are boiled eggs. Um, anyway, so, she was going into surgery. She was going into surgery, and, uh, I told her, I said, Granny, I know you're going to be all right. But just in case, I need to know how you make dressing. And uh, all I had to write on was the front page out of the telephone book there in the hospital room. And this was, you know, back in the days before iPhones or anything else. So I wrote down what she said. She said, well, you're going to use... Uh, Two yellow, or two to one yellow over white cornbread. So if you use, you know, two or three to one. She said, I usually use three yellow and two white. So all this time I've done it that way. And you boil a chicken and put in there. Well, I'm not doing that today because I just didn't have the money to do it today. And I forgot about it, to be honest. I forgot. I'm just boiling, or peeling boiled eggs because these are going to go in the dressing. Some are going to go in the dressing and some are going to go in the gravy. Because you're going to learn how to make gravy too. Giblet gravy. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peel five to start off with. I boiled a dozen. I mean, it's no big deal, they're boiled eggs, so... You know, they'll end up being eaten somewhere. I know it's kind of like watching grass grow, isn't it? Sorry. And the first year I made her dressing, it didn't taste like hers. But now, you can't tell the difference. I promise you. Alright, so this is a hands-on kind of deal. Alright, it's a hands-on deal. You got to be paying attention to what you're doing. But it's hands-on. And this would be a fun way to make sure their hands are clean. But this would be fun for the kid. Get the kids involved. You could do something else while they do this. And then if you look at it and think, well, I need more egg. Well, okay, go get more egg. You know, don't worry about that. And what you're going to do is you're going to, it doesn't take that long to make dressing because everything is pretty much cooked, right? All you have to do is just make sure it all comes together, heats up together. So I do it my roaster. I put my roaster on about 250, 300, and then I'm good to go. Okay. 
I told you it was hands on. If you find big clumps of cornbread, make sure you, while you're doing this, this is another way to find out if you got big clumps of cornbread. So now you're going to mix in your onions, your celery, your garlic, and your uh, uh, eggs. Okay, so now, hands, hands on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just take five minutes. I'll be back. I'm going to put you on hold for a minute. We're going to take five minutes, and, or about ten minutes, and give this a chance to come up to the boil and cook so we can start using that too. So just bear with me. Go get you a cup of coffee. I got mine right there. Go get you a cup of coffee or, you know, some eggnog it's not too early uh it's christmas and uh chill out and i'll be right back all right i'm sorry i got busy doing other things and forgot all about you guys okay so this is done it only took uh, about 15 minutes for it to be completely done i've shut it off and now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this stock and start adding it over here Trying to make sure I get some of the goodies that it meet and stuff that have come up. Now I like to make my dressing a little dry, and the reason is because the, the gravy will soak it up. But you know, you add as much as you want. I start with three ladlefuls for a full roaster. And I'm gonna just stir that in first because it's hot, number one main reason and what you want is you want it to kind of hold together you know no more you want to be able to take it in a fist and it holds together without crumbling apart. Once it hits that texture, then you're done. Hooey, 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 hooey. All right. That's good, that's perfect. Okay, so there's your dressing. Now this goes into an oven or in the roaster, like I'm gonna do. At 300, 350, you can do 350, but if you do 350, you only do it for 15 minutes. I do it at 300 for about 25, 30 minutes, and that, that way it doesn't get real browned again. Uncovered, don't cover it, leave it uncovered, unless you're in the roaster, and then you have to put the lid on it. But that's, uh, but anyway, so that's how you make dressing. That's it. Um, any questions? Didn't think so. So, uh, if you like this, please hit like and subscribe. I'm sorry, my mind just went somewhere else. I don't know where I'm at right now. But, give me a few minutes. I'm going to let y'all go now. But come back in about an hour, and we'll be baking cookies. Woohoo, my favorite. Sure do love them Christmas cookies, baby. It's turkey dressing time.